Hello Retro Gamers and welcome back to Retro Games Forever. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe if you want to see all future retro gaming videos that I do. Right, I'm back with my second video on RetroArch on Android. My first video was to just show you how to set up RetroArch, get your games running. This one is how to scan games manually. The reason for this is because RetroArch doesn't pick up all your games that you can have in your folder sometimes. I did notice it first on the Amstrad CPC. I went to play a few games and they didn't show up. So first of all, we're going to be using the I'm going to be focusing on this Terry 78 reason because there's no other games to scan. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back out of here, go to my Terry 780 games, which are the now what I want to show you is first of all when we scan. So if you you've downloaded a new game, say homebrew game, so we'll take this banner land, we'll move it into my Terra 780, paste it, go back into RetroArch. Now this is the normal way, just automatically scanning it. So storage Terra 780. And scan. Go back out. As you can see, Binary Land is not there because it's not in the database. So, what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you how to manually scan it. Simple, like I said, you need to rest work, you won't have a clue. So, Manual scan. So we click on that content directory. Like I say, my games are in my SD card, which is here. Go down to 780. Scan. Go back down to system name. Click on Atari 780. Then we go down to default core. Like I say, if you're new to RetroArch, you need to go back to my first video because you won't have a clue all this, but that's how to set everything up. So, that is the emulator that RetroArch uses, the Terra 780 Pro System. So click on that. Go to the bottom. Scan. Go into 780. There we have binary land. It's picked it up. Simple, and you can just do the same. All you have to do, you can you can pop it in. You can even pop it in a different folder, or you can put like new Atari seven eighty games, or you can just throw it in with the seven eighty games. So basically, it's if if you want to play a lot of homebrew games, because there's tons out there now. For ZX Spectrum, I'm say Commodore sixty four. Like I said, I was new to this also. I was just scanning and I was getting a bit confused thinking, why is the game not showing up? So like I said, manual scan and it will. So there you have it. Quick, short video. Like I said, if you didn't know what to do, how to do this. You know what I mean? It's, it is confusing when you want to play a game and it's in your games folder and it's not showing up on RetroArch. That if you do have any issues, put in the comments and I will get straight back to you. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget, give us a like and hit that subscribe. See you later.